podcast in skateboarding. Brought to you by the number one shoe in skateboarding. Fan! Off the wall since 1960. Motherfucking six. We're in Toronto right now for the Bunt Jam weekend, and it just ended. How was your time here, Beatrice? It's been great. Thanks. I'm having a good time. That was a sick intro. <laughs> <laughs> I like You've been doing it for a long time. Hype to have you out here. Let's uh let's get your highlight of the weekend, Bun Jam. Ooh, highlight of the weekend. I would say the basketball game, no? Yeah. It was entertaining to watch. It's funny to watch skaters do something else other than skate. <laughs> I like it, yeah. And then we had Jake Johnson wedding jumpers. We had Curran getting me, driving right past me. Uh who else? You Donald. just gotta, you gotta love the intensity. Yeah, the intensity. There. Everyone was focused. Who's that TM on real that was playing? Tim Fulton. Oh, I was Tim. impressed. Surprised Tim. everyone. Holy shit! I'm like, this yeah. guy is like, what? Does he play normally or? Yeah, yeah. yeah okay, yeah. it makes sense because he's, he's a rec ball like, legend. Apparently. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's sick. No, he's he was epic. It was cool yeah. to watch him play. So in your Jankum interview, you kind of let the world know you hoop and could have possibly played in college. We need you on the Vans roster next summer. Why didn't you suit up this weekend? Oh, yeah. I mean, well, one, I wanted to enjoy the, you know, what Toronto had to offer as a mm -hmm. spectator. But I just tore my ACL last year and I had surgery in January last year. So um, basically the, the recovery is like a two-year full recovery to return yeah. to athletics. But as skaters, I finessed it and came back in six months. So um, <laughs> nice. I just figured I don't want to do anything outside of skating to get hurt because I want to stay on my board. and. I'll be back next year. Oh, it. shit. Yeah, yeah. She said it. That's what's there up. Vans could have used you this year, though, to be honest. <laughs> they need Not a shooter, no. man. They need a shooter. Stefan hitting threes off the backboard. Actually, I did that, too, but it happens. <laughs> Beatrice so locked in 2024 yep. Vans roster. You hear me? <clears throat> All right. Back to our regular programming. Tell us, what's your favorite sports moment and your favorite skate moment? Ooh, and, like, live? Yeah. yeah. Damn, dude. That's gnarly. I'm trying to mm -hmm. think. Sports moment. I don't know. Maybe like, um, you know, uh, when Terry Henry played for Arsenal? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think what game that he like scored. Fuck. That's a French beast right yeah, there. Yeah, he's like so epic. He's like my favorite soccer player. Like, there's so many moments, but like just maybe just him in general. He's like mm -hmm. such a sick athlete. He's like the perfect yeah. specimen of That's a nice shout soccer out. bird. Yeah. We haven't heard that. Yeah, yeah. he's yeah. epic. I love mm -hmm. soccer. I grew up playing that too. But um, for skateboarding, like a sick trick moment or just like... Whatever comes to mind, something growing up, a video, just a moment that you witnessed or saw in a video, whatever. Damn. <clears throat> There's so many because back in the day, there used to be like skits and like personalities in the videos, not just clip mm -hmm. after clip. I really enjoyed those. Maybe like, I don't know, all the skate more intros oh, yes. where so everybody's good. just like all weird and like, mm -hmm. yeah, they just show their personalities. I love yeah, that yeah. stuff more than the skating, I think. So I'm like, all these people are cool. So take us back to the beginning. Where'd you come up and how'd you get into skateboarding? Okay, yeah. Um, I came up, for, you know, I was born in Miami, Florida, and then my family moved to Palm Beach County, like a little bit more north when I was four. And uh, yeah, I grew up watching Rocket Power. You ever seen that show? Mm -hmm. It's like this cartoon show about these kids who live in California and they do all the extreme sports, like, bat, so, like tennis, soccer, and they like skate and they snowboard and kayak board. They just do crazy <laughs> shit. And it, it's based in Venice. Now that I'm now that I'm adult and I like realize it, the whole place was in Venice and they're doing all this shit in Venice, right. mm -hmm. like snowboarding in Venice. What whatever. the hell? Yeah. And they like met Tony Hawk one time in the show because yeah. he had been a guest appearance. It was a Damn. sick show. Yeah. But um, there was this girl in there. She hung out with all the guys. Her name was Reggie. And I just thought she was so sick. And I was like, oh, she's cool. And then, um, yeah, I would just watch it and be like really excited about the show. And then um, one day for picture day, there was like this skate. There's like... I don't know if you guys have this here in Toronto. It's like you have picture day and they give you props to take photos with. Mm. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, like a yeah, yeah, baseball, yeah. soccer ball, something for personality. Right, right. And then there was a skateboard. And I didn't know skateboarding at the time. And I just was like, that looks cool. <laughs> so I took a picture of it and I was like, and the whole day I was like, that was really cool. Like I liked holding it. Like I was just yeah. like obsessed. And I just asked my, d I went home and I was like, can I get one? And they were like, okay. And. <laughs> Dad bought me like this massive longboard, and I don't know. From there, it was just like a slow burn. I would like roll around my house 
on my butt or yeah. just around because it was just like this full circle. I would just go around and then one day when I finally got outside, I just like stood up on it. Yeah, I really didn't remember like trying to stand up. I think I just mm -hmm. was in the house so much. Yeah. And then when I finally got outside, I just like stood up and started pushing. That's what I remember. And, and the rest is history. Yeah, and that's it. But yeah, that's how I started skating, just by myself in um, Boca. That's what's yeah. up. Hell yeah. So fast forwarding a bit, what do you think was your first big break in the skate industry? Maybe Cherry, I would say. Bill's video from 2014, I believe. Mm -hmm. Instant classic. Yeah. yeah, but that was such a weird one because I, I wasn't in New York yet. Um, I had uh, got uh, Bill's number from his website or something. He had a website at the time. Because <laughs> I had, I had watched, it's all a fucking crazy story. I had watched this, I had read this interview that he was going to quit filming skateboarding. Right. And when you're a kid, I thought he filmed all of photo because I didn't know you could do different filmers, yeah, you know? Yeah, so yeah. I was like, this dude's so sick. Like, I want to film with him before he leaves skating. Yeah. Oh. So I like search for like, how I can get in contact <laughs> I with I gotta him. get a hold of yeah. him. Yeah. I was like, I just want to film one clip and that'll be like enough for me or whatever. So I found his email, uh, his email or whatever. And I messaged him like, hey, here's my tape. Like, no way. Yeah. And he like answered me back and he was like oh you're super sick you're really cool like keep skating and, I, and that was it for me and i was like well at least he thinks i'm cool like you know because <laughs> that's all you know and when you're, yeah. when you're a kid you just want the approval of like your you know your your elders or whatever so yeah. and that was it and then um i just kept skating and i was like there was a time where i'm like oh i want to get sponsored and so i would send it to everyone like element and shit that was my favorite back then and sick. all these people but like Bill was the only one that would respond, you know? Mm -hmm. And he'd be like, oh, this is... Every time I just get better, like, I made these tapes, like, Beatrice 1... Beatrice to 1 through 5. And I would just send <laughs> them to sick. him, like, the YouTube links, and he would just respond. And um, one day he was just like, I'm making this video. Like, I didn't know what Supreme was. Like, mm -hmm. I didn't... I didn't know the caliber of it. I think that's mm -hmm. what was nice about growing from Florida. I had no idea. So mm -hmm. I was just like... In a good place of like ignorance is bliss, you know. I didn't yeah. know who. I was just like, this guy is cool, and they tell you in skateboarding that you can be friends with anybody. Yeah. So I was like, okay, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but um, yeah. So he's like, I'm making this video. It'd be cool for you to have clips in it. So and I was sick. like, okay. Wicked. So I just filmed myself around my town like I usually do on my little uh, laptop and my little GoPro that my mom had bought me. Was it a GoPro? It was a flip. Uh, those flip cameras, the, the ones that are horizontal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I'd film it on my tripod. Wow. <laughs> yeah, and I would just send him stuff, and I wish I sent him more stuff. I just didn't know the caliber of it. Like, my thing was like, oh, he already saw me do this trick. So I'll have to new. learn a new trick. Like, yeah. don't. I didn't know you could like do a do same it trick on a different yeah. spot. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, was, I was just like, oh fuck, I'm just gonna try to learn new tricks. But yeah, you end up using that one clip in there, and then um. I got an invitation in my email, like, hey, you're invited. And I, me and my mom took the train up there. In the whole way. Yeah, super that's sick. Yeah. DIY career, man. Yeah, that's it crazy. Myself. Yeah, I mean, I didn't have anyone really around me. It was just like, I think that was nice, though, because, mm -hmm. um, I don't know, people are, I feel like a lot of people are pessimistic and I'm pretty optimistic. So it was nice to just, like, I'd be like, what do you think is sick, Beatrice? And she's like, yeah, you should do it. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of someone yeah. being like, oh, like, I, one day I want to be a skater. And they're like, yeah, right. Like, yeah, not a hundred outside voices. Yeah, I'm just like, well, it was just me and I was saying yes to myself. <laughs> so we're going to do it. Yeah. Let's fucking get yeah, it. That's so, all you need. <laughs> yeah, that's how that worked out. Hell yes. Mm -hmm. So we heard Dill originally found you on Tumblr. What's the story there? No, he didn't. Bill had, sh when I was sending those tapes in, yeah. Dill was over... Bill was over, uh, Dill was over at Bill's house. Okay. And he was like, check this girl out. She's sick. Mm -hmm. And he was like, awesome. You know, like, that's sick. Like, and then he emailed me like, hey, Bill, show me your video. I want to show mm -hmm. you workshops. I'll send you workshop stuff. Damn. So from there, like, yeah, he had just seen my tape at Bill's house. It was in Tumblr. I didn't really post skate on Tumblr. I was like trying to be like a hip stir artsy girl on there so that's not <laughs> <laughs> and, you know i was like a teenager i was like yeah. mm, swag and like all yeah. those weird obey clothes <laughs> so, you know that era is so weird yeah yeah but mm -mm, no uh bill had showed him my tape and um yeah he from there i text him like like email him like hey 
can I put workshop under this contest? And he's like, sure. Sick. Yeah, workshop flow, whatever. I was That's just dope. psyched. And he like sent me a box of boards and like three t-shirts and yeah. And then from there, like by the time I was like getting to get on workshop, which I don't know, they had left for FA and he was just like, yeah. Damn. Yeah. So I've always Dude. been on from the beginning, but just flow kid. Mm. Yeah. Just I love that. Me. You see how she remembered specifically three t-shirts? Oh Yeah. Everyone remembers that first box. Yeah, three yeah, t-shirts, you know two saying? boards, two budget boards. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. And the same day, that cover of Austin Gillette skating in Barcelona for Trans World came in, and it was raining, so the box was wet and the mag was wet. I remember <laughs> oh, everything. Yeah, like, awesome. yeah, I was like, I was like, a magazine and product. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> like losing my it. shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was so sick. So fast forwarding a bit, you made the big move up to New York. Mm -hmm. What originally made you want to move and what's kept you there for the last eight years? Yeah, I mean, my dad's originally from there. Okay, he grew sick. up in the Bronx. So that my whole life, him saying like, Florida sucks, New York sucks. <laughs> I'm like, all right, I got to go see what yeah, this guy's talking about. Talking yeah. About so um, that was one reason. And then like, Hey Arnold's the second. You ever seen that show? Oh, yeah. yeah. They were so cool. I was like, I'm going <laughs> to sit on the stoop and like <laughs> fuck around with my friends. And then... um. I don't know. When I got to New York, everyone was so, it was just like instant. Like I just got, my first time in New York was like unreal. Like mm -hmm. it was kind of fake. Like I tell the story and I'm like, I don't even sound real anymore, but <laughs> it's, it just happened. Like I first time in New York, went to the premiere, met everyone, skated, was in a video. And then I went, I had to go back to school and I was like, I was just in like Jerry. <laughs> and everyone was like, okay. <laughs> Did you do, do you have your assignment? And I was like, no, well, I was in New York. Like, <laughs> I'm in, was the assignment. Yeah, I was like, East Village Cinema. Like, yeah. I was like fucking sitting next to like Dylan and like, like so many people were there. It was unreal. Like, I'm such a fan of like East Coast skateboarding. Like, it's like truly what I care about. Like, Quim Cardona and like Peter yes. BC and like Alex. Yes. And like, I'm just like, these people are just like, nice clip, nice clip. I'm like, <laughs> Yeah, nice club. <laughs> just tripping out. So, yeah, it was just like a mixture of like those two things, my dad and, and, and um, um, just being in love with like skateboarding. Like, I, I don't know if you heard the video Compost. Mm, no. Dude, some, that video is a hidden gem. I kind of want to gatekeep it, but fuck it. it <laughs> that's why I moved to New York because it was just it would just show like. Ian O'Connor, just like these Ian Reed, like just Whoa. Harold Hunter, like these heads hanging out at Tompkins or like just skating in New York. And I'm like, damn, they just like link up at TF and then like go skate around. And like if they get something, they get something. It was just it just showed the time. And I'm like, and New York's really like that. It's not like it wasn't like a put on. They literally just like skated Tompkins if they did get something or they'd go mm -hmm. out and go skate spots. That's my favorite video. It's by this guy. I actually met him when I was in London not too long ago, but I'm really bad at pronouncing names. So, all good. Send the link. We gotta peep that. I will. That. It's a good video. It's. I think it's on YouTube, but I have it on DVD though. So okay. Yeah, so it's a great video. So these days we're seeing skaters diversify their interests more and more. I mean, we just threw a three-on-three -three basketball tournament <laughs> yeah. for the second time. Uh, how do you juggle your modeling career and your skate career? Well, yeah. I mean, first of all, I want to say that's healthy to put your all your interest in different things to an extent but skateboarding does require like all that 100 percent focus mm -hmm. but i only started modeling to skateboard so when i'd go to new york i wasn't like i'm not some rich kid like mm -hmm. um someone was like oh you're tall like do you want to model and it's like 500 bucks i'm like 500 bucks i could stay in new york one more week yeah. <laughs> to skate you yeah, know so it. that's how that started it was just me trying to be around like bill and the boys and mm -hmm be around like New York. So I was just modeling so I can have money to keep going back to New York. And then from there, I was like, I don't know. I would do it here and there. And then ugh, I stopped doing it because it wasn't core, whatever. <laughs> and then I tore my knee and, and that makes you think about life differently. I'm like, mm -hmm. okay, I'm like, whoa, I might not be able to skate after this. Like, so I need to like, I kicked it into gear, high gear. I was like, yeah. if you need me to do a job, I'll do a job. Cause why gotta not? do what you gotta yeah, do. Yeah, I'm still young, so I'm like, I'll do that. So the modeling just came from out of like pure necessity, and then necessity again after I got hurt because mm -hmm. I was like, oh, this is sustainable. I can make money, and then like, I can skate, you know, when I want to.
Hundred percent, and New York ain't cheap. No, it's no. not. For sure. Yeah, what the hell? Like, <laughs> it's the most expensive city in the world, it's, man. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's what's up. Um, can you tell us a little bit about Supreme trips versus FA hockey trips? What's the difference? What's the vans like? Mm-hmm. Give us the behind the scenes. Supreme trips are fun. They're pretty big. I mean, I've only gone to like the massive ones, so it's like I've been to Milan. That was <laughs> fucking the that best one looked shit insane ever. Like. I talk about, I feel like I'm like that high school boy who played football. Like, <laughs> I used to be a quarterback when yeah. I was in grade nine. Yeah. That's how I feel. I'm like, oh, my lawn was so sick. Yeah. <laughs> so two years ago, I'm still talking about still it. Still living it. Yeah. No, that was the best trip ever. I had the most fun. I got a clip every day. Yes. I actually have footage in that video. Yeah, I just was thriving out there. The kids are super sick. Like, I don't know. I love all the guys on Supreme. They're great. They get me hyped. Like, Sage was there. Like some people I like to skate with was there, like Kevin and oh, so yeah. that oh, gets KB me, the God. Yeah, so Ooh. that gets me psyched, you know, like because those guys like Kevin, Sean, you know, Sage and um, Louis, like when I watch, you know, you just want to be around people that you're excited about, you know. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. that was really cool. And then FA trip is like gnarly. I, I just went to Korea. Sick. And that was crazy. That was a sick trip too. Yeah. But it's just like. Even more heavier because then you have like the hockey dudes and like they're like they're hockey, <laughs> yeah. Hard, yeah. <laughs> they're hockey. I'm like fuck, okay, like, and I really don't really go on much FA trips. That's why I'm not in the videos because I'm not on the trips for you mm. freaking weirdos out there. Like, where are yeah. your clips? Oh yeah, I, not existing because <laughs> I'm not on the trips. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, yeah, any trip I go on, I do get stuff. It's like if I'm not on the trip, I'm not can't get stuff yeah <laughs> just so they know yeah this is pretty annoying but um yeah that was an early trip it was super fun i don't know if i can say that but jake and Kern are super cool to get to know mm-hmm. we're gonna get to that okay. yeah, yeah, yeah those yeah. are our guys <laughs> right there so uh, yeah that was super cool and yeah it's just like they're pretty different but similar because it's almost the same guys there's some crossover yeah in there's the some teams, crossovers right? a lot it was more at one point. Now it's kind of like everyone's yeah. kind of like mm-hmm. branching off. Yeah, a yeah, bit. doing their own thing. So yeah, pretty similar vibes. So going pro at the FA store in New York. Walk us through that day, the experience, and what it meant to you. That was epic. It was unreal because I've I've been on that company since the beginning, and I really wanted a class photo, and mm-hmm. it was just weird because I was like I was skating really good, and then I got hurt, and then um. I was like, okay, it's not going to happen. Because <laughs> oh. I, I didn't really know. And then it, to happen when you're, you're like hurt, I was like, mm-hmm. oh, mm-hmm. you, you could have given it to me two years ago or yeah. like, <laughs> when I was like, you know what I mean? But um, it was nice. Like to have Mike there and Anthony came too with his kids and mm-hmm. Jared, like all my friends were there, Bill. It was pretty unreal. Like perfect scenario. And we had the so, store. Yeah, it was yeah. super sick. Like the dream come true right there. Yeah. That's what I, all I wanted was that. Really? From emailing Bill to that night. Yeah, That's unreal. Crazy. And they're all like have my in the the walls like full of my boards and t shirts are full. Crazy. And, Insane. Yeah, it's nice. Um <clears throat> so you got the board mm-hmm. and now you got the shoe. Yes. Massive congrats on that, by the way. Thank you. Take us behind the scenes on the Zaba Mid Beatrice. Yeah. So the Zaba Mid was like they came to me with the low. Grab this thing. Huh? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So they came to me with the low, <laughs> like, mm-hmm. hey, we want a colorway on that. And I was the like, one that Zion just did. Yeah. And yeah. I was like, no, because I, sk- <laughs> <laughs> I was getting half caps at the time a bunch. Yeah. Um, and, um, and I was walking in half caps because I was hurt when I designed this. So I was like, I need some, I want to, I want a half cap. And then obviously had the A Pro mm-hmm. previously. This mm-hmm. is like what, your fourth shoe? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. But if we count the style 53s and like yeah. those other, but yeah. Um, I'm super involved in everything that goes into it. So when someone says it's bad, I'm like really offended. <laughs> like super offended. So careful what you say. Yeah, you heard it? because every detail, you know, if I could stitch the shoe myself, I would. Mm-hmm. But like to the color, down to the, the drawing and the insole, I drew that. And uh, um, yeah, the black, like it, it, it went through a lot of stages to get to this point, actually. So yeah, it's just a mixture of the... I like to say it's a mixture of the Ave Pro and a half cap. It's mm-hmm. like the perfect combination because um, I like both those shoes and kind of wanted to put into one. But yeah. 
you got that impact waffle in there. Yeah. You know, we love that. <laughs> yeah. You no, already know. It, it's kind of, it works because I had been skating, I've been skating these shoes for six months now. Mm -hmm. And I try to go back to my slip-ons because that's like kind of my other favorite shoe. And it, you can feel the difference. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah. damn, wow, this is a capsule. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's good. It's a good capsule. It's comfy, you know. Um, doesn't we like worked on the toe cap a bunch because at first it was ripping on the kickflip on mm -hmm. the so kickflip this rip so it was like ripping super crazy so we fixed it more it's more durable and then it's like plastic under it but not enough to like hurt your feet yeah so we really good job and then i the perfect combination of like pointy yeah. and oval because i hate a pony toe mm. and then a squared toe is just it's gotta be in the yeah middle. it has to be perfect in the middle so I have like photos on my phone to the designer like at 2 a.m. Like, no, like this. Like, yeah. and I'm like, I'm like showing my video. I'm like, do you see the difference? And, but they're super, they get me. They've worked with me before yeah. and um, they're like, they understand how kind of crazy I can get with that stuff. <laughs> yeah. A perfectionist. Yeah. Pretty the much. shoe's beautiful. Thank you. And I'm claiming it right now. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm going to give it the switch tray test. Ooh. Switch tray the set at the skate park in New York this week. The Zaba Mid by Beatrice Damon with Impact Waffle? Are you kidding me? All right, that, there uh, you go. It's sick. going down. Oh, I hope. Brooklyn, baby. Yeah. Brooklyn, we coming. You hit the switch crook in the Zion, and now you're going to switch tray in the Beatrice. Damn, I'm like honored, it. Let's honored. Go. <laughs> <laughs> That's sick. So what did you think when you found out Tyshawn and Knack were leaving FA to start their own? I was super bummed. I was like, damn, I had... That's huge, Gotten man. The call. Like, yeah, I was like, damn, like, those guys are, like, I'm pretty, I have a lot of respect for them. And yeah. it kind of bummed me out. And then I'm like, uh, yeah, I don't know. It it was, it's really bad because I, I don't like change. And yeah, I loved our group that we had. And mm -hmm. it was just super cool. But I know everyone has to grow and change. So it's okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Happy, Happy for them. Yeah, yeah. very much so. <laughs> but sometimes with subtraction comes addition. Uh, you lost two legends, but you just gained two more. Yeah. Two of our favorite guys in the skate world, Jake Anderson, Kern Caples. How do you feel about welcoming them? Yeah, to they're the, great. To the fam. Yeah. No, they're, they're fantastic. I just went on my first trip with them, like I said, in Korea. Mm -hmm. and they're cool. Kern's super sick. I really like him. And Jake's such a... <laughs> <laughs> he's a he's What's a, the word you're going to use to describe Jake? Here? Epic human being. There yeah. we go. He's just I, like little, I like him a lot, though, but he's like... I don't know. He's super cool. It's interesting to get to know them, but they're yeah. both like really polite and respectable, and that's Hell all you yeah. can ask for. Yeah. They yeah. shred. Yeah, man. and they rip too. So. Jake's fucking yeah gnarly. He's crazy. So a little bit of Florida before we go, real quick. Top three Florida skaters all time. Oh, Alyssa Steamer. Mm -hmm. Uh, Rodney Mullen. He's mm -hmm. from Florida. Yep, Damn. he sure is. Okay. He is. Got a historian on there. There we go. Yep. You didn't know that. No. <laughs> yeah, he's from Florida. Epic human. And then Monty Monty Noller. He ma invented the backsmith on Damn. a quarter bike. Yeah, Damn. Florida's got fucking hitters. You guys yeah, yeah. sleeping on there. us. Hey, we ain't sleeping, but yeah. we don't no, got go the to Florida all the time. No, I understand. There, there was a gap. It was like yeah. those guys, and then it died, and then yeah, and then it's like, and then I feel like my generation, like Zion, Tyson, Ish, me, mm -hmm. Jamie, Blake Carpenter, Blake, Damn. Brad. They're a little bit older, but like mm -hmm. that's when we're like. We started to bloom back out, and then yeah. like then now there's new kids. I don't even know their names yet, but yeah, like, yeah. The, the Andrew Skate Shop team is oh going yeah, those crazy. guys too. Yeah, yeah. Josh, woo, yeah, yeah. Riza, Elijah, don't want to run Elijah's into those two on a basketball court. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Florida's got yeah. We invented skateboarding. We had Ronnie Mullen. That's crazy. Yeah. All those tricks were invented in Florida. That's fucking <laughs> there you sick. Go. So sick. Yeah. Um. So what's next for Beatrice? Well, hopefully not. I now that my shoe is pretty much out and then I finished designing these collections for these brands I'm working with, I could focus on my skateboarding because I was triple majoring mm -hmm. like all year, just out of necessity and mm -hmm. out of fear. I didn't know I was going to skate again. So I was like, let me see what I can do outside of skating. Yeah. And it was healthy. I'm, I know I have talents outside of skating, which is nice because I didn't think I had any because I had left everything I've known, like art and Anything like anything outside of skating, I was like, I'm putting it in it so I can focus on skating. Mm -hmm. yeah. So now I'm like, we're filming a video and I'm going to put all my energy into that. And 
I'll, I'll, I don't know, if just for myself, just to know I can do it, because I've never really done that, where I'm like, okay, I'm going to focus all of my time and energy into this video part. Love it. Yeah. Who's uh, the video part for? F.A. Let's go. Sorry, making Hell a full yeah. length. So, Damn. there you guys go. Let's <laughs> go. Breaking news. Ants, hit the sirens. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, sometimes, as much as injuries suck, they can sometimes be a blessing in disguise, mm -hmm. where they force you to, like, look at your life and be like, oh, shit. Like, yeah. But now you're back, you're healthy, yeah. knees feeling good, refocus. Yeah. But I like that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I was a little, I'm a little bummed that I couldn't really like skate. Just you know, it's all it's like life stuff. Like I'm learning mm -hmm. as I grow. Like I was so just living my life in skating. I didn't really get to do stuff outside of skating, like of have a life, like relationships or friends mm -hmm. outside of skating. So when I got hurt, I was doing those things. I'm like wow life's pretty cool like <laughs> what the hell like these civilians are like kind of living it you know <laughs> like going like you're going out like, yeah it's like nuts i'm like and so i was enjoying it a little bit but then i do miss skating like i think about it all the time so i'm like that's where i should be but um i think it was okay if to take like a year and a half to myself and like see life or what it is and like meet people outside of skating and oh yeah. yeah healthy balance yeah healthy balance for sure okay we got one more sure little section here um <clears throat> not sure if you're familiar rapid fire so it's just gonna be like quick question right quick answer fly through these okay it's good ready for a little rapid fire beatrice let's get it okay <laughs> <laughs> favorite skater favorite skater oof can i pick three <laughs> <laughs> go for it tiago dill and uh fuck who else is, i think it's sick Alyssa. hell yeah, yeah. favorite video my field favorite video part Ooh, Jake Johnson, minefield. Classic. Yeah. Gotta be. Favorite style. I like Mark Johnson because we both do the thing with our hands. Thumbs <laughs> down. Yeah. <laughs> Which skater had the biggest influence on the way you skate? Oh, for sure, Dill. Dylan, Dylan and Jason. Yeah. Nice. Most talented skateboarder on planet Earth. Tiago. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, like what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite trick. Favorite trick. Kickflip. Hardest trick for you. Hardest trick. Hmm. Backsmith. You and me both. Yeah. Man. I only get <laughs> fighting my whole life. I have life to for like try. One. Like uh, I'm gonna do a backsmith. Yeah. Most illegal trick. A nose grind that touches. Mm. <laughs> you know. Snowplow. Yeah yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Worst trend you've been a part of. Body varial tricks. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Gnarliest trick you've ever witnessed. Probably Abe, skating. Yeah. yeah. Just in general. Just in general. Uh, like you, you see that in real life, you're like, he tries. <sighs> Like, I like he that. works. Yeah, I'm yeah. not really that kind of skater. But it's cool to see someone that respectable and that, like, at that caliber try mm -hmm. I'm like, damn, that's inspiring. So him yeah. in general. Hell yeah. I've never had the pleasure. Hopefully one day. Yeah. You seen, he's, like, one of Donald's all-time favorites. No, we saw him years ago yeah. at the, the Vans video premiere. He was in town. Didn't see him skate, though. But just, like, the aura of being yeah. around him, I was like, he's oh, my like God. He's just, like, stocky. He looks yeah. like a fucking, like, I don't know, like, how he skates is, like, how he is. But he's, yeah. like, super sweet, though. Hell, yeah. Favorite clip you've ever gotten? Probably a Milan clip. Maybe the kickflip Manny shout out. Hell, yeah. yeah. What's the one trick that got away? Oh, something on that long grate in Milan. Yeah. I was trying. I'm going to go back and try it, so I don't want to say it. Okay. Don't say it. Save yeah. it. Hell, yeah. yeah. Um. <clears throat> What's the biggest bunt you've ever witnessed? And I'll explain that one for you if you're not Yeah, familiar. what does that mean? <clears throat> it's like when someone tries a trick that they have no business landing. Like they just, if like I claimed like nolly back heel down a 15, but then I just got No, there. like you claimed nolly foot nose blunt oh, on yeah. the barn. You know the barn? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah that massive barn. Yeah. <laughs> I said I was going to do nolly front side flip nose blunt stall. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's I've true. never done one in my life, but when I saw the, the three <laughs> rendering, possible. Yeah. when I saw it on a computer, I was like, I think I could do that. But And then, of course, I didn't even try it. So that was a huge bunt. Damn. I don't know anyone in particular, but there was this kid this weekend, and he was awing over that bump to can you guys have in the park on yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, telling, I was literally telling Dustin Henry this. I was like, this kid, if I had his will yeah. with my skill, I'd be the best skater. Yeah. <laughs> the way he was just throwing, like his knee... His head would touch his, like, it was, oh, the way he would land it was, was crazy. Just, it was I'm like, you don't know what you're doing. Yeah. But he had, like, but all he the wanted confidence. It. Yeah, I like that. But it was like, that's yeah. a butt for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yes. 
Uh, last new trick you learned. Mm, pressure flips. Pressure Hell flips yeah. to Manny too. <clears throat> Dream job after skating. Mm, creative director of Prada. Oh. oh. She knows what she Dream wants. Dream big. For sure. Hell yeah. Dream big. Favorite local brand. No. Can it be a restaurant? Yeah. Cafe Mogador. Oh, hell yeah. That's where we had dinner. Yeah? Oh. Williamsburg or Manhattan? Yeah, Williamsburg. That's Both locations are great, but yeah. uh, Williamsburg has the burgers, yeah. the lamb burgers. It's pretty fun. Okay, we might uh, have to touch that this Yeah, week. definitely. I think you guys staying at the house, Hoxton? Yeah. Yep, yeah. you'll be near there. Yeah, hell it's yeah. perfect. Um, favorite local skater? Ooh, Steven Ochowski. Glue. Nice. He skates for glue. What's the one sponsor you regret riding for? Ooh. This company I used for called Stoner Skateboards when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't smoke weed. Yeah. So, but it was a lot of tie-dye, and I was into tie-dye growing up. Sick. Yeah, but shout out to that dude. Thanks for the boards. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite teammate ever? Ooh, Sean. He's oh. Pablo? Yeah. He's Hell a yeah. He's a sweetheart. Hey, that's a bunt alum. We love Sean. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Worst teammate ever? Ooh, I don't know. There's no one that I don't, I don't like on the team. It could be like a homie who snores on a trip. Like it could be like a fun, like a fun trip. It doesn't have to be like vicious. Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> Everyone's pretty on time. Like my thing is like punctuality. Like yeah. if they're jamming us up, like I'm up early. So if we're leaving the, if we're going to go skate at one, I'm like over it. Yeah. So, but everyone's pretty much out when they're supposed to be. So. Even Jake's not blowing it? No. Okay. I mean, I think, he, uh, I think yeah. he was trying to impress me on this. <laughs> <laughs> so, he was, yeah. yeah. No, no one there was pretty good. Worst company? Hubba Wheels. Oh. oh. But if they brought it back and only had girls on the team, I'd be about yeah. it. Like me, Nicole, Alyssa. Like if they all oh, put us shit. on <laughs> and like we got to do the graphics, that'd be sick. But Hub re Yeah, rebrand yeah, it. But still sell it to like the male gaze. Yeah. We'd make bank. Yeah. <laughs> um, worst trend. These kids running these like pleated fucking like jeans, bell bottom pants with like fedoras and shit. Just oh, like. That's coming up big. Dude, in New York, it's crazy. It was like head scarves and like yeah. holes in their arms. I'm and like, their gloves. Yeah. You know, I've, I feel old because like, you know, when like. You start to get old and you're not like up on the trends. Right. I see some of the outfits these days and I'm, I'm like, I just don't know what's yeah, going on. Yeah, like anymore. chain bracelets are back, <laughs> you yeah. know, and their hair is just like, they shower, but they're like, let me put dirt in it. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, what is this? It's like punk rock, grunge right? Style, grunge. Yeah. But it's, like, it's like East Village chic. You, you've been in New York. There's like yeah. a look in the East Village and yeah. it's like, oh, you, you have money. That's why you can look like that. Okay. Because <laughs> if you have money, you wouldn't want to look like that. You know yeah. what I mean? Uh, if you're broke. Cause uh, to come up, worst style. How about this? What I watch and what I post on my Instagram is the best style, and if I don't, that's the worst style. Cause I'm not watching it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Last but not least, last person you want on the sesh. Gifted hater. Oh. Yeah, he's probably so annoying. <laughs> The Shots people fired. love gifted hater. Man. I he's hate got him. a crazy following. Right Imagine now. if he like you wouldn't want to skate with him though. You'd be you'd only be his friend, so he wouldn't talk shit about you on his show. Yeah. You're not people really want a mashup between the bunt and gifted hater. What do you think? I mean you guys should do it. It'd be good for the views. Just see where we get Make with some him. coin. <laughs> but <laughs> wait, he's bringing money? I don't know. Uh, he is, he money. is he making money off that show? He can't. That's a bummer. Actually he might uh, I don't actually, know. Actually no idea. But yeah, I wouldn't <laughs> want him on the sesh. He seems yeah. annoying. <laughs> <laughs> just like that yep. it's a wrap oh thank you guys for having me it's thank exciting. you so much for being here yeah. yes. this weekend was fun interview was even more fun see you in new york <laughs>